Now we've had some manufacturers come out with some very interesting engines over the years, but this one might take the cake. Blueprint Engines, who has been making crate engines for a very, very long time. I'm sure the name has come across your desk once or twice or computer screen if you've had a project car. Um, but they've come up with an engine that is very unique. It's a four-cylinder engine with an LS3 head. Let me explain. So according to the article in Motor Trend, they're saying at the 2022 PRI show, they had stumbled across Blueprint Engine Stand who had this four-cylinder engine sitting there. They weren't sure that they were even going to bring this engine because it's one of those shows that most people are looking for V8s and new developments there and new designs, parts, things like that. But they decided to bring this engine that was in R&D. It's not currently available. I'm going to start with that. This is a concept that could possibly be making um, its way to their production. But it is based on a 3 liter engine. This particular one is a 3.6 liter LS four cylinder. I know that sounds weird, an LS four cylinder engine, but this engine makes 340 horsepower and over 500 pound feet of torque. There's been talks of it being like in the mid 500s, somewhere in that range. And I think even 340 is a guesstimate. They definitely said over 300, probably closer to that 340 mark. They do get specifics on this. So let me read down this article and what they got going on here. They said that this is a tried and true heavy duty block that's normally used in industrial divisions. They said similar engines have been widely used through industrial wood chippers, airport tugs, forestry equipment, mobile equipment and power generators along with other applications so they're saying the block is rugged and designed for high torque continuous use in extreme environments that's always a good thing so we know the block is strong internals are strong now they also said they slightly altered the block to successfully mate with our blueprint engines ls head it says the block has external dimensions similar to that of a three liter gm engine it has dedicated piston oilers and a large full loop compatible oil galley. The iron block is built for strength and the long block tips the scales at around 300 pounds. It says that in an industrial application, which means not what you'll put in the car, that it'll put out diesel like torque numbers at only 1800 RPM. If configured for performance application, this bore and stroke combination could produce well over 300 horsepower and 500 pound-feet of torque. It says the bore is 4.125 inches, which is the same as the LS7, and can go bigger, but the smaller bore means that the walls are super strong and we think that a single turbo or a big shot of nitrous would be perfect for this half LS. Now those are the words from Blueprint themselves. I can think of a million different things to put this little four cylinder in. They said at the show they got comments of possibly swapping it into older S10 projects and things like that. They also mentioned that the 3.6 will accept any standard GM bell housing. So the possibilities of swaps are pretty much endless and that they were thinking of mating it with a Tremec TKX five-speed trans, which would be absolutely awesome. So I think this has so many possibilities. Now here's where it's even more interesting. Blueprint is saying that the picture shown here is of the engine with their LS3 head. Now they're also stating that this block will accept a Ford Windsor head. So we got something from both the Ford and the Chevy guys. Now, last thing that the uh, Blueprint Engines did say was that it has been in the 11th hour of build and the R&D development. Details are still limited, so though they don't have price or release date yet, it has been shown at PRI that Blueprint will be fast-tracking this into production. All right, so here are the full breakdown specs of this engine. The 3.6 liter four cylinder LS engine has a 4.125 bore with a max bore of 4.185. The 9.145 deck height, 4.05 inch stroke, coil near plug ready, cam sensor, crank sensor, could also run with a distributor. Additional capacity water jacket, 
high capacity water pump capable of 38 plus gallons per minute. You have 5.7 4340 connecting rods with tapered pin end, 351 Windsor main bearings, small block Chevy rod bearings, small block Chevy cam bearings. The current crank is nodular iron, small block Chevy one piece RMS style flywheel flange and uses small block Chevy flywheels, flex plates and small block Chevy starter. So although there's a lot of Chevy parts in here, there are a few Ford parts. So this is very much a hybrid engine in my opinion. I want to know what your thoughts are though on this. I think this is a really, really cool engine. I, you know, I'm a big V8 guy. I love V8 engines. I love V8 projects, but this four cylinder sounds really cool and I would 100% find something to put it in. Do me a favor, drop a like on the video for me. Hit that subscribe button on your way out if you haven't already. I'm Kevin and I'll see you in the next upload.